More toxic algae is popping up in Utah reservoirs than in years past. Today, Fox 13 Sydney Glenn went out onto the water in Utah Lake to get an idea of just how bad it is. Out here on Utah County Lake, we've seen quite a few of these algal blooms. DEQ says we really shouldn't be seeing this much this early. A perfect day on Utah County Lake. So let's go along the shoreline here. But there's something lurking in the water. It's kind of like radiator fluid. As we drive around, that green stuff. What I've seen out here. That's when the algae is present. It's probably algal blooms. I would not swim in this harbor. Sometimes search and rescue crews. When the water's, we have a low water year more often. Don't have a choice. You might not be getting in that water, but if there's someone there, you're getting in that water. Dr. Kate Fickus with the Utah Division of Water Quality says not all of this is necessarily toxic. It can really be often hard to tell whether plant material or something green in the water is actually toxic just by looking at it. So we do extensive testing. But some could be. When they get really big, they can start producing large amounts of these toxins. Those toxins can be dangerous. And these toxins can injure our brains, our lungs, our GI tracts, and our livers. Vicka says we are seeing more harmful algal blooms earlier in the year, and the heat and drought aren't helping. So this year in 2021, we're expecting uh, potentially higher magnitude blooms, so meaning they're more toxic. Just be mindful on your next perfect day on the water. Really encourage you to stay out of the water, and that's especially true for children and pets who can get really sick really quickly. Get a good look at that. See, it almost looks like pea soup. If you see something like this, obviously, do not jump in. DEQ also has a phone number on their website that you can report if you see anything like this so they can get out there and test it and warn others. In Utah County, Sydney Glenn, Fox 13 News, Utah. Well, Utah's DEQ does have a map online to show you where harmful algal blooms have been detected. You see that map there on your screen. We do have a link to this page as well as the phone number to report potential harmful algal blooms over on our website if you go to fox13now.com. As toxic blue-green algae blooms are showing up around the country, researchers are looking into what happens when they go airborne. And this specially designed artificial lung may hold some answers. Using air to move the water around, it filters in this machine. Filters in the machine capture that airborne toxic blue-green algae we're talking about, similar to how our lungs would if we breathed in. Well, the concentration that can harm you is very, very low. It's, they're very potent natural toxins. But the aerosols we know very little about, and we're working on that very diligently. The CDC is also launching a similar uh, study later this month. These algal blooms and can bloom anywhere, really, in bodies of fresh water that meets pollution from agriculture and development, usually shallow water. This coupled with summer's high temperatures, algae blooms can rapidly grow.